As students in the Bay District school system return to classrooms soon, they may travel with some unwanted company on their rides to school. One school bus in particular was brought to our attention, so we looked deeper into the problem. News 13's Thomas Schultz has details on what we learned. With the first day of school less than three weeks away, some Bay District school buses are crawling with cockroaches. Here is a video of bus 881 obtained by News 13 of cockroaches crawling around the school bus in and out of a trash can with an empty soda bottle. However, the bus has now been cleaned and fumigated of the roaches. One of the things that happens with roaches is they produce a pheromone, and if they find food and produce that pheromone, then it basically alerts other roaches, hey, here's some dinner, let's, let's go. And so uh, we wound up with quite a few roaches in there. Carter says cockroaches are an occasional issue that BDS deals with on its school buses, but this school bus has not been used since the end of the last school year. So it's sitting out in the field, and so uh, naturally in this environment, the, you know, the tropical environment we have, um, the, there were some roaches on it. To counter potential infestations, BDS expects bus drivers to empty trash cans every day. But drivers and paraprofessionals that work on our, our buses are human, and they make mistakes and, and, and forget to do that and sometimes that creates issues that we have to resolve. While Carter says infestations are most likely to happen over the summer, there is a plan in place if roaches appear during the school year. Let's say uh, over the weekend, maybe uh, a backpack is left on the bus and maybe that backpack contains some food items. Uh, yeah, you know, you could have uh, uh, roaches show up over the weekend. Uh, the protocol in that case is we call for a spare bus. To get rid of cockroaches, BDS uses a roach bomb fumigator that is safe for areas that food may be placed on, like bus seats. In Panama City, Thomas Schultz, News 13 Panhandle Strong.